Hello, this is Michael Jin, and today I'll be teaching you how to connect your Raspberry Pi to this laptop without having to solder or cut any wires. Simply just buy these two products, and I'll show you on Amazon, and you'll be able to connect your laptop to your Raspberry Pi. Here we have a micro HDMI to full-size HDMI adapter, and here we have the micro USB to full-size USB adapter, together costing around $14. You can also go for different adapters and connect two together, but honestly, it's probably going to cost you more money and take you more time and it's from China, which is going to take forever to come, so you might as well just order on Amazon. Here are the cables and here are the connectors. Micro HDMI on the right and micro USB on the left. Here we have Raspberry Pi 3, a 1, and a Pi 0 W. Now we have to power the Raspberry Pi. I am going to use the port over here, which is probably around 1 amp, to power the pa Raspberry Pi 1. For the Raspberry Pi 3, this power will probably will not be sufficient unless you're running Raspbian Lite or Raspberry Pi OS Lite. You could probably also do a Raspberry Pi 0 and a Raspberry Pi 2. However, the Raspberry Pi 3 and 4 will probably need more power than what this can handle. So either you can use a Pi Juice or you can use an external battery source. You can use a power bank if you want your option to be mobile. My Raspberry Pi is plugged into power via the laptop. There are two USB ports here. The other one can be used as a data port when the Raspberry Pi is connected. If you plug in a USB, you'll be able to see the data from your Raspberry Pi OS. Plug in your full-size HDMI port. Do not plug in your USB port yet. For the Raspberry Pi 1, it won't boot properly. Once you open it, the power will be supplied to the Raspberry Pi and will power on. I'm opening it right now. And power's on. There we go. We have the power on screen. It takes some time to boot up. You can now plug in your USB. I don't know if the same issue occurs with the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, or 4, or 0, but for sure with the 1, if I plug in the USB earlier, it will not boot up. You can double tap to turn off the mouse. You have to actually double tap. There we go. Raspberry Pi has booted. Now that Raspberry Pi is booted, I will show you how the keyboard works and the mouse works. Turn the mouse on, and there we go. Mouse is working. Open the terminal, keyboard's working. F11 is supposed to make something full screen, however, when I hit F11, this little box pops up. I don't know what it does. And if I keep on pressing F11, that's what happens. These are function buttons. If I hit function with this, it will do the action. Here is brightness up, brightness down, and volume also, but I cannot reach with one hand. Plugging in a USB stick. The USB stick has been detected by Raspberry Pi OS. I will now play the media file. This will test the speakers out. As you can hear, it is working. I did a little bit of a longer review. Um, I just wanted this to be a short one um, of the actual hardware. I also did one of the actual uh, setup of the Raspberry Pi in a, in a slower video. However, this video was meant to be shorter. So I hope this helped you set up your Raspberry Pi and get your laptop all set up. Let me show you once again. Left is micro USB, on the right is micro HDMI, and it connects to the Raspberry Pi. This is for the power, and there are people that have spliced the power of this USB cable and separated it and connected it to the power, although it would probably only work with the Raspberry Pi 1 and 0 like we said before, um, but this way you wouldn't need to waste a USB port. Um, however, uh, I didn't want to splice anything, so that's why I did it this way. No soldering necessary, no splicing necessary. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Honestly, it was really bugging me that the um, that the Pi only booted up if the USB wasn't plugged in. So I went ahead and I got one of these cables and I did a very simple uh, job. I just took off this plastic uh, layering and then I, as you can see, I um, just cut the black and red and left the white and the green for the data. And that way I wouldn't have this problem anymore. Hopefully it will work. Let's test it out. Thing is out. This HDMI is connected, USB is connected, and power is connected. Let's power on and see what happens. Power on. And it's working. Now it is working. However, I do want to make sure that keyboard and screen, uh, keyboard and mouse are going to work. And keyboard and mouse work. Well, at least the mouse does. And now the keyboard works as well. So as expected, um, the other USB without having the splice wire is powering the Pi a little bit, which is causing it to, um, I guess, loop boot or something like that. 